I'm Mir. I'm Sophie. Second of his name. Last episode, we watched The Rogue Prince. Today, we're watching season one, episode three of House of the Dragon. Smash the like button for House of the Dragon like y'all usually do and comment and subscribe to join us on the journey. This is actually pretty crazy. I just peeped, it's called House of the Dragon. This whole time in my mind, I've been saying House of Dragons. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm just kidding. What can you uh, do, you know? If you're interested in any of our previous content, and even this, if you want to watch this a week earlier for full-length movie and shows, click the link in our description. And let's get right into it. I, I see. I already see what's going on because I already know the... The uh, the what? Corliss's house is uh oh, yeah. sigil. No, 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 please! Ah! Oh! At least they ain't show it. He said they the crabs they he they be having the crabs eat them alive while they nail them to posts. That's like. Listen, if I'm Corliss, I'm stopping this immediately. Boy, he's trying, but <clears throat> it's hard. Oh, the dragon. I think he about to burn you alive too. No, they can see, you know that, right? I'm just saying. Save me! Did he? I'm confused. Did he just like. I don't know if he did that on purpose. Yeah, I can't tell. I can't tell yet, but I kind of figured that was going to happen. I mean, well, yeah. Well, I don't know. The dragons, they they can be controlled well. So, I mean, I don't know what, what was that about. But then again, there's Damon on there. So, who knows? <laughs> oh! Damn. I thought he was done. <sighs> I mean, okay. Okay, so Damon is helping Corliss, clearly. Yeah, they had that conversation. Yeah. Last episode, so. Uh, I mean, it didn't really go... In my opinion, the goal was to get Drehar, whatever his name is, and he didn't get him. The crab feed has dug in for siege on Bloodstone while his men sabotage our fleet under the cover of dark. Not today, Tyler. The matter of the Stepstones is, regrettably, urgent. He's a Lannister. Who, him? And they was talking about, who, who whose kid is that? Talking about Aegon Targaryen, or what's his name? He said it too quick. Damon has driven the men hard. They have begun to question his command. What the? She pregnant. Were he to intervene now, after so long, it would make the crown appear weak. Can someone tell me where in the seven hells Rhaenyra might be? Bro, like, what? First off. Yeah, why? This was very fast forward from last episode it, to this. It said it was a... They they do big jumps. That I was think. a big jump. They do big jumps. And that's probably why she not there. Dang, that was a lot of information, y'all. Dang, kind of want to go back because I, I didn't hear because Allison is pregnant. Who is Aegon Targaryen? The what was his name? The son, that little son that was sitting there. Like who was that? Yeah, talking about know. the firstborn. Of yeah, the that's king. why I was, I was like, that's why I felt confused because I'm like, like wait, what? what is going on? All right, whatever. We can go back. <laughs> and you have my nose, don't you? Two years old and already our boy has a kingly presence. Two years old. Oh, I said no. Nah, I'm thinking nine months. This is two years old. So this is a very big jump from last episode to this because he already have a that his first son that they just showed. He's already two and she's pregnant again. And that's most likely why Renee is not there because even when her dad even mentioned, oh, I choose Allison um of Hightower, she stormed off. Good so, point. His infancy is behind him. It only remains for Viserys to name him heir to the throne. I wouldn't be so sure. He's the king's firstborn son. I don't know that his grace sees it so clearly. See, and then even... And it lies with you to make him see it, Lord Hand. Is this episode called Second of His Name? Okay, then, okay. This then episode is called second. second of His Name. Viserys' son that he named Aegon after Aegon the Conqueror, Aegon's the second. So this is Aegon the second. The matter of the Stepstones is regrettably urgent. It's been three years. It can wait another three days. It's been three years. It's been three years. That's what I said. 
Okay, three years makes sense too. Because he's two and then she's pregnant. She looked like she could be like almost nine months. So, yeah. Why is Viserys not worried about... I mean, if I if I was a king, you would be worried about problems like that though, right? It seemed like he just has well, been three they, years. Remember what Dame, Damon said? He said that he's soft. Your grace. So I say to stop. Yeah, but that's the queen. Oh, Allison's the queen. That's so... I don't know why that's so weird already. I mean, because she's married in... I don't know. Because Viserys is still there, but I get what you're saying. At the king's command. Yes, but it... Then at once, your grace. But it needn't be. None of it needs be this way in truth, Rhaenyra. Yeah, this is a, I don't know how I would feel if I, was, if I was Rhaenyra. I would be like out. I do not. I would not want to see that. You gotta understand where she's coming from, right? I'm sorry. As I am ceaselessly reminded. You would need to be reminded if you ever attended to them. No one's here for me. There it is. Mm. There it is. Yeah. There it is. That's a lot of messy work. <laughs> what you mean by that messy work? For the mind. For the mind. Oh, you're saying messy. Because I, I still didn't know what you were saying. Messy work for the mind. Oh, okay. I just made that up, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like you made That's why I was like, when did you ever say messy? <laughs> what is messy work? What is that? I just came up with it. <laughs> the crown is at war, princess. Though your father refuses to admit it, we've been dragged into it by your uncle and the sea snake. And how have you served the one with late lady red wine? By eating cake? <laughs> I mean, look, the her perspective I, it's not that far off. Yeah. But Ceres is definitely ignoring the fact that his brother just did that. Like, yeah, like you I don't yeah. know how I do it. But... I, I don't know how I feel about that. The fact that first, the fact that Damon is even doing, doing this and he's allowing it um, is crazy. In that, like, allowing that's it in the sense of not even doing anything. Yes. No, uh, the king's wound. It's fine hunting ground. But the best sport is to be found at Castle Rock. The rock is thrice the height of the high tower in Old Town, taller still than the wall in the north. She is not interested in this conversation. <laughs> it don't seem like she is. On a perfect day, one could see clear across the sunset sea. It must be quite something. Why is he looking at her like that? I was gonna say something too. I'd do anything for my queen. Or lady wife. Yeah. Uh, get away from me. I don't want to be your wife. He tried yeah. it though. <laughs> that was a that was a nice try. Yeah, that's that was not smooth, dude. Marriage proposals all, and I have tried often to discuss it with you, but you've refused me at every turn. Re raising your voice, you might want to give it that. Do not exist above tradition and duty, Renera. Uh, excuse me, Your Grace. <laughs> He's getting a little hostile. All right. Okay. This is a formal event. You must marry. Oof. <sighs> oh, she gone. <laughs> she left. Yo, Sylvie, I don't know. I feel like, why well, I feel like something about to happen to Viserys? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Because I feel like the way Hightower's like really emphasizing it and stuff like that. I don't know. Just, I, don't I don't know. know. I mean, she's clearly being rebellious because... Her dad doesn't know how to listen either. Their relationship always been rocky, you know what I'm saying? My father trying to sell me off to Jason Lannister. Hold on, she probably wouldn't be with him. They just look so much older than her. I don't like that. When your father named me to his king's guard, it was the highest honor any Cole had ever known. All that I have, I owe to you. No, I'd hardly call that toothless, princess. All right, maybe you're right, because she was blushing a little bit. He was the same when she was blushing at when she threw the thing. Right. Before the dragons roared over Westeros, White Hart was the symbol of royalty in these lands. And on this day of all days. I've never been one for signs of importance, Your Grace, but if the gods did wish to show their favor, I don't like what he's saying. He's big saying like, oh, how ironic. This is all happening on your son's name day. Whatever, whatever, whatever. He's giving. To this man. I don't know. It's just giving like, 
I mean, I said it already. I, you can't trust Hot Tower. Your Grace. I had this forged in the Golden Gallery in honor of... Yo, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> what? Being a king, bro, like... I hope it might provide the killing stroke against your white heart. King of the king's... You hear how they talking to him? And you hear how... And you see how everyone acting towards him and like... I don't like that. I don't like that. I just don't like it. Because I feel like when you're a king, everybody is after you. And that that's so annoying. I would like... Hate, I wouldn't trust no one. I would hate everybody. I would probably only have one friend if I was the king. I feel like Viserys is too, you know, he's too loose. I had assumed, as he's your firstborn son, many of us had assumed. Many of us, you say. Have your banner men questioned my choice of that? But you see what I'm saying? Yeah. People talk to him like they're making decisions. Like, I don't like that, bro. You're talking to me like. <laughs> like, who are you talking to right now? The boy just turned two, Otto. Yes, but it would cease the endless proposals for Ramirez's hand. <laughs> Betrothed them. I came here to hunt. Not to be suffocated by all this fucking politicking. Exactly. I feel like there's time to be serious. Yeah. And I'm not saying Viserys should ignore stuff. He should definitely do stuff. And I don't like how he's ignoring the whole situation with Damon. But I think everybody's just talking to him like... He's this puppet king. Like, oh, yeah. do this, or this is gonna happen, or this and that. Like, bro, get out of here. Out of my face. He's doing pretty cool. Talking about Mary Aegon Severnair. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy as crap. Like, <laughs> king Jaehaerys ruled over half a century of peace while his children drove him to the edge of madness. Rhaenyra's not the problem. Y'all are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you problem. wish to hear my opinion on the matter? No. And there he go. <laughs> right, I'm just irritated with everybody. You believe that your son, Sir Harwin Breakbones, <laughs> is the best match for an era? You flatter me, Your Grace, but no. Oh. It would seem to me the best match for Rhaenyra is the son of the sea snake, Selenor. The breach between your houses has not narrowed since I last spoke of it. It would do much to assuage Lord Corlys of any slights, real or imagined. Okay. I thought he was going to come speaking trash, but okay. I'm hearing what he's saying. Okay, he had a bad reaction to it. That wasn't the worst proposition I've heard, but it's like, what's up with Viserys? <laughs> this man is, he's going he's downhill. He is going downhill these past three years. Tell me something, Sir Kristen. Do you think the realm will ever accept me as their queen? No. <laughs> Never. No. Yeah, they, she woman asked does Sir not, Kristen, not you. I'm not Sir Kristen. I mean, he basically said, yeah, they go had no choice. Which is true. Dude, that happened to Prince Robert. Remember? The boar? I mean, they they got him drunk. Super, super drunk. And it was an accident. If he was if he wasn't drunk, that wouldn't have happened. She needed to let something out. She did not need to stab that thing. <laughs> what you mean? You gotta make sure. No, I think she's just clearly, uh, you know, she had to let some steam off. You know what I'm saying? My obsession killed Rhaenyra's mother. Yeah, because he wanted the son. I thought Rhaenyra was the way out of my abyss of grief and regret. That naming her heir would begin to set things right. Oh, it did. I never imagined I would remarry. That I would have a son. Viserys is a good person, but he's a bad king. Think about that. He's a real family man, but him being a king really messed with his decisions. So, yeah, he can't handle it. 
That's so sad. First of all, he looked hesitant about even doing it. It don't even seem like he wanted to do it. Symbolism again. I don't think he's meant to be king. Yeah! <laughs> he took two times. Like, you know, it just keeps showing how I felt like he's not, well, I'll, I'll say strong, I guess. Yeah. That's a hard word. His brother told him he's soft. He's too soft to be a king. <laughs> Yo, wow. That is so that is so interesting. Maybe Renera was in this time meant to be the queen, but she she never was either. I don't know. That was the dare coming to her, like, oh like, you know. <laughs> it didn't show up for the series, but it showed up for Renera uh Renera. I was like a, seeing a princess like showing up like that is like what the freak that's tough that's tough she's different when you bore the king a son you ended 15 years of uncertainty and doubt Aegon like his namesake was born to rule the seven kingdoms if Viserys were to name him heir the realm would fate him for it <laughs> Otto is definitely like Tywin cause he does stuff and doesn't care about like anybody's like feel like how his daughter feels like he just doesn't care he's the first born son of the king to deny that he is heir to the throne is to assail the laws of gods and men well if you think about it that's actually their fault because they were so pressed for him to pick an heir right there and then too and knowing Viserys he not gonna pick Renair well now after that whole at, conversation yeah, at, one, yeah after after having a son and everything Viserys knowing how he is he will pick the son <laughs> Her wishes in this matter are irrelevant. I do believe that Rhaenyra will marry your grace. But she must believe it is her choice to do so. Yo, he sound burnt out. <laughs> he is stressed out. Viserys need to learn how to, I'll say, compromise better. Because you already say you need to, Alison say you need to make it seem like it's her choice. You know, he right. needs to compromise with things better. That I am forever doomed to anger one person in the pleasing of another. Then I pose a simpler question. Is it better for the realm if the crab feeder thrives or is vanquished? Yeah. It's that simple, buddy. He got to open his eyes and it seems like he don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Yo, telling the king they don't know what they're doing <laughs> is the craziest insult in the world. I will not live forever. I wish to see you contented, happy even. You think a man would do it? A family. I had a family. What would you have me do? If it was for advantage, you would have wed Lena Valarian. Mm. See, like, he not, he not connecting the yeah, dots. Yeah, and I was going to say that, He too. not connecting the dots, bro. Yeah. You're the reason people are in these positions. You should have did the right thing. That was the first Let's crazy give it a Rob. Let's give it a Rob Stark. <laughs> Make it yourself. Search him out. Find one that pleases you. As I did. She just says she don't want a man. I did waver. At one time. But I swear to you now. On your mother's memory. You will not be supplanted. <laughs> she don't believe him. Well, the crazy thing is, too. The crazy thing <laughs> is... He he don't even be right. He didn't even he had no way to defend himself in that conversation. The crab feeder and his men have no reason to leave those caves. We must give them one. An offering of flesh to bait the crab. Who? Dragon returning! So what they go? Sacrifice Damon or something? That's the plan. I mean the king just said he's sending people, so Damon. Damon is why we are losing. He at least is fighting this war. What role have you played in this council, uncle? Other than master of complaints. Enough. <laughs> the master of complaints. Yeah, that's crazy. How is Damon the reason y'all losing? Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. I mean, Dan has better say he's gonna help, so. Yes. Is 
Ray, and why is he letting his anger out on him? So, what did the message say? Did it say he's not helping? Because I thought that was the point. I have ordered 10 ships and 2,000 men to set sail from King's Landing to join the effort in the Stepstones. I shall pray nightly to the gods for your safe return. That was the message? So he don't want his brother's help? So he don't want his brother's help at all? So he rather surrender than get help from his brother? Oh my goodness, bro. Yo, he looks bad. Wherever this thing is. This could be the trap. And you know how Damon is. He's a liar. Like, he's not a... True. He is, does not do things the right way. So he probably acting like I'm surrendering. And he's gonna burn everybody. Including the crab feeder guy. He is. You're right. Watch. He most likely is. He is. I just peeked. He is. The freak? He about to die? <laughs> No way, he about to be all of them. I mean, Damon's a good fighter. We know that. We know he is. I know. He gonna dodge all of them. <laughs> oh, he crazy. <laughs> he is crazy. He is crazy. <laughs> man, a one-man army. He just running in by himself. <laughs> he about to kill Crab Feeder himself. <laughs> Yo, this is ridiculous. He saw that letter from his brother. He said, help. Bro, I'm about to go beat this man myself. I don't need your help. Right. <laughs> I get he's a good it's, fighter, it's but giving, come on. Right. The arrow's missing every shot. No arrows is hitting him. He killing everybody. Be 100% for real right now. Spoke too soon. Sorry. There we go. We just had to give it like a five seconds. Yeah. I was like, how is he not shot at all? So he about to die right here. Oh. Oh, snap. Yes, get him. That was smart. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's what I was, I was like, yeah, something crazy about to happen. I said, dragon will literally have it come. No, who is that? That's one of, that's one of the Corley's nephew. No, that's Corley's son. I didn't know he had. I thought they couldn't um, ride dragons though. That's what he said. How is Sobe, he Sobe, come on. What? Put the pieces together. What? His son's a Targaryen. Yes. How? He has Targaryen blood. Who was cool oh, yeah, as married to? Oh, yeah, I forgot his wife. Yes, I almost forgot. Yes. You're right. He went back to get his weapon. What is that? What is that demon? He killed him already? I can't tell. That did look like... That did look like it, it could it could have been Damon that went in there. Or, or came out, I meant. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, wasn't going to be there. Right, because I was about to say, right, like, he seemed like such a... He, he was one of them intact... Oh. Ooh. Oh, my God. Yeah. He seemed like one of those antagonists that clearly couldn't fight and just was, like, had a weird image <laughs> and sat back and had everybody fight for. you saw the way he walked back into that cave he said he knew it was done yeah he knew it was over all right damon okay okay damon that was that was a pretty good proving yourself right there that you're useful in situations like that specifically um even though i wouldn't say 100 percent like uh agree with your whole personality but like yeah the goal was Corliss to get rid of them and Damon joined him and got rid of him without help. the king's help. Proved himself. Okay, that was nice. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Um, tensions are definitely making Viserys go crazy in, 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 in King's Landing. Um, as we can see with uh, his daughter and, you know, his obviously his brother. 
but mostly with his daughter, specifically this episode. Um, you know, because the episode is named Second Son, so like everything with like the family. Second of his the, name. Second of his name. Excuse me. Everything with the family and the air and everything is like driving him crazy and stuff like that. And I'm gonna repeat it again. I feel like Viserys definitely is a good person and all that. Like, you know, he can make a, a nice decision or a nice gesture to someone and this and that and not care about certain things. But I think as a king, and I think I don't think I mentioned this, uh compromising, like, boom. Otto Hightower, he mentioned, oh, J- uh, unless he has a Jahari's part, even if even if Renera was a Jahari's part two or something like that. They they always mention how Jaharis before Abi Viserys was such a great king. He ruled for fifty years. Did a little research. <laughs> he compromised very well. I saw that he compromised well, and he did. Um, he uh made the right deals with the right people. If that makes sense, like boom. Kind of like right. Baby, I was about to exactly bring that up. You like he gotta, had between Corliss and. Like, Man. you got to make yeah. the right decision. You got... That one decision made Renera mad at him. Um, He has a new heir now that also Renera a little mad about. Made made everybody, like, question and stuff like that. Made Corliss mad at him. You know, uh, picking Renera, even though I'm not saying she wouldn't have been a good queen. Naturally, everyone would have been upset with you compromise something else for Renera. pick Damon, you know what I'm saying, and see how that goes. Something, I don't know, because cause I feel like, or, 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 pick Renera and have Damon like, enforce him a little bit more. Cause instead of let him do what he does. Cause like I said, he good person, not a good king. I feel like, That's with that point you just me. mentioned, yeah. crazy thing is, Renera and, her dad had that whole conversation after her mom died. And she said, well, you're a king. You must do what you need to do. You can go have remarried. He, I don't think she expected him to remarry and have kids. That's where he messed up. Because honestly, if you already named her heir, I'm going to just be honest. Like, you didn't really have to go have a kid after that. And I think both, like, who he chose to marry and him having a, ha, him having two more kids is definitely not showing that he's in the right mindset. Also, yeah, just like you said, like, Viserys, like, I feel like he don't even initially know how to make decisions. Like, you saw when he even had the conversation when they were like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to help your uncle. Do you think that's a good decision? It's like, he's not sure of himself. Do you think himself. that's a good decision? He's not sure yeah. of himself. He's not demanding. He can be, but I feel like it doesn't really help him long term. Just like you said, like, why marry Otto Hightower daughter? That makes absolutely no sense. And then you're pressed for your own daughter to go marry this other person. And it's like, even then, I don't think he was even really the best option. And then, listen, I... Oh, sorry. Mm-mm-mm. I'm looking at this from a royalty perspective. Him even oh. telling Rhaenyra, like, okay, go ahead and choose who you want. That still even shows how... He's not really fit to be in his position because in royalty, it's not about love. Like, you learn to love the person you end up marrying or whatever. What did Catelyn say to Rob? He ain't listen. He ain't listen. It's a but Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Renera, you're not going to be a hunt. I'm not saying do something that she's going to make you make her hate you but you can't satisfy her 100 percent in her situation because she you know what i'm saying you you always said oh i want a son i want a son so she already pissed like you gotta meet her halfway or something you know what i'm saying but i think renera kind of understands it though i feel like she don't like how she know for a fact her dad don't see like that and then it's like the way he's pressing everything else if you get what i'm saying you know what i think i think renera just wants to feel like she matters because she definitely doesn't like the whole thing about being a woman i think i would say that you mean her being a woman and then her not being able to be queen because of that yes like that whole thing about being a woman like oh i I, oh like you're my daughter but you're my daughter you go over here like i need a son she didn't like that whole vibe oh yeah of course she wasn't messing with that so 
in that, you know, and, and instead of explaining to her and trying to comfort her or try to compromise or something like that, like, um, like how, boom, damn, I mean, I guess it's a weird comparison, but maybe Ned Stark, I guess, where Arya, he was kind of like, like, you could have Needle, like, there you go, like, you know, you could train, yeah. go ahead, like, yeah, go ahead, be you, and this and that. But, I mean, he don't last long enough to really damn yeah that's why I said it's a weird comparison never mind never mind cause now yeah he was nice too but he I don't think he was a good well the thing is well I will say too in their order of a good comparison based based on their cause the thing is too it's I feel like when it comes down to being a kid of royalty it's about birth order too that's what really matters (sighs) so yeah I feel like Viserys like I don't know like he he's showing a lot of I don't know what I'm doing and it was really the coreless decision. Because I think Renera was really cool until he made that decision with Allison. I'm not gonna lie. That is when she was like, all right, I'm done. I mean, you saying that, I, I mean, I know. think overall, I because know. think about it, she probably knew how her mom, like, actually, the first episode literally showed how she was pregnant. And then Renera was like, wow. Like, she remember the first episode when she was talking to her mom? Yeah, but Renera was not trying to hear none of that. But think about it, though, because she probably knows that because she was her dad's first child and she was a girl, he she knew that her dad was pressing her mom to constantly get pregnant. And think about what the mom said, how she had all these miscarriages and fell pregnancies and that she don't want to keep going through this. Renera probably been knew that about her dad, and that's probably why she always been distant from him. Because she's probably like, dang, like, I'm your daughter, okay, you don't have a son, and dang, like, you don't even want to do anything with me. You're going to keep pressing my mom to have kids, and now, look, it led her to her death. That, too. She was mad about the mom situation, too, yes. But I'm saying, like, overall, it feels like Viserys never learned from that, and that he still doesn't know how to talk to his own daughter, and that's what's (laughs) prolonging these effects. I mean, you also don't want to be like Otto, where you don't care at all about your daughter, and you're like, oh, just marry. I don't care about your feelings. Like, I mean, okay. Because so you don't want to go all wrong. the way. No, you don't want to go all the way that but like, way. You got to go kind of right But that's right kind of how Tywin was. Yeah, but you kind of got to What did he go... say? But what did Tywin say? He always what? talked about how... Family. All these decisions that he's making, he's looking at past everything. He's doing because he's trying to look for overall the well-being. And they might not understand now, but they'll understand later on. And honestly... I don't like Otto like that, but Boom. that's kind of what Otto's doing. Boom. I just figured it out. Boom. I just figured it out. I'm hyped. I got it because I just figured it out. Boom. What did L- 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 Lionel Strong say to him when he was sitting down? Here, Guys, look. Listen to me real quick. What did What did he say about being a king? About Jaharis? He was like, he was like, my king, my, your grace. Even Jaharis had to deal with his daughters 24-7. His daughters hated him. Oh, his daughters led him to madness. Led him to madness, blah, 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 blah. It's tradition. I think what it is, it's either you're Tywin and you're not the best person, but you're a good leader and you could be a good king. Or you're like Ned Viserys and you're a good hurt like a good guy like oh that's a great guy but you're not the best leader i'm not saying i don't really know how jerry harris was because i didn't really like, we don't know but i'm assuming he was more on this side like he wasn't like the best best guy but he was the best king he made great decisions great compromises so everybody was satisfied e but even in that his daughters were still driving him mad because that's natural that's yeah, us as women, we want what we want. That's what Cersei was doing in Game you of Thrones. Like y'all, she... y'all get what I'm saying? So I think it's either or. And I think Viserys, he's just not... He's a good guy. It's harder. He's a good guy. It's just he's harder to king. compromise with your daughter. It's because we look at it more than just, oh, like, I have to be with this person. Like, even Catelyn, like, she didn't originally want to be with Ned, but she learned to love him. But at the same time, too, I feel like in these type of situations look at Liana and 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 um it was Rhaegar right yes like not saying I approve of it but sometimes what really happens like you do what you have to do for the front for your duty and you, and you do your personal stuff and do what you gotta do you know what I'm saying and like that's really what it always depicts 
anyway because it's either you go the route and be like Rob, be like Viserys, and it's like, no, I'm gonna be with someone I truly love, and then it's kind of like it, and you end up dealing with more circumstances after that. Because let me say it like this: if he wasn't with, um, Amen. um, Emma. No, if he if if the series wasn't with Allison, right, Raina mom, Renera mom, yeah, Renera mom. Emma. I said, oh, Emma. I forgot her name. Was she was only in one episode. If Emma. he didn't get with her, who knew what kid he would have had first? Because Renera would have be here. That's number one. So <laughs> no, I'm just saying in perspective though. It's Dang. just it's just perspective wise. Like he didn't go the route he was supposed to go. And then now look what he's dealing with. And and honestly, the circumstances after that just keep getting worse and worse for him. You know? Guys. And it's like, he had to literally talk to Allison for him to know what type of direction he needs to go in talking to with his own daughter. It's like, I don't know what's on his mind, but I don't think it's being king. That's what it's coming off as. Let us know what y'all think about our discussion. Correct us if we're wrong. Y'all can have your opinions, but you know, let us know if we're wrong. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we will see y'all on the next one. Perfect.